friends. I hope you're having a good week. So today I'm gonna do a super, super curly style. I haven't done this in forever. Honestly, I did a video at the very beginning of my channel and my channel is about two years old. Actually, I think I just had my two year anniversary of my channel. But anyways, I used a very tiny little curling iron like this this exact same one, but my hair was quite a bit shorter than this, so I wanted to try it again to see if I could get kind of a neat style. I don't even know how that's gonna turn out. It might turn out just like last time, but since I have a lot longer hair on top and in the back, we'll see if I can get some little ringlets out of it. So I washed my hair today and I just let it air dry. If you're curious what I used, I used the Aquage Uplifting Foam and it's basically like a mousse. I don't know what happened today, but the nozzle on this went a little crazy and I was spraying it. I actually sprayed the ceiling of my bathroom. So I think it's all dry now, but you do have to be careful with these bottles. They go a little wild. All right, so I'm gonna set this. This is a Hosan. I got this off of Amazon. I think this was only like 20 or 30 bucks, but I will definitely link this. I'm setting it at 375, which is about the, the sweet spot for my hair. So I'll let that heat up for a second, and I'm gonna just run a comb through my hair and try to decide how I'm gonna do this. I think the key is that I wanna get little segments to curl. Like you don't want to put a bunch of hair if you want a bunch of little tiny curls. So I have to give you an update every week, but you can clearly see my natural brown is growing out. And a lot of you commented on my last week's video like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be soon. You're right, the pace of my hair grow out feels like it's increasing. Someone asked me, does it seem like your hair's growing faster by not coloring it? It sure does. I don't know what's going on, but my hair is just growing like crazy, crazy fast. It's interesting because I have been coloring my hair, oh my gosh, my whole life, basically. But blonde, I have been coloring my hair blonde for probably 10 years. Yeah, probably 10 years or more. And it's been so long since I've seen my natural hair color. Like I wasn't even sure where the grays would be, what the color would look like even. I mean, I knew it was always looking dark when it started growing out, but really it's turning into a very cool, a cool brown at the very front of my hair. I don't know if you can really tell, but I have some already natural streaking right here, which I've always had when I was a kid. So it's lighter at the front here. And I'm also starting to get, which is really the first time I've really noticed any grays, but I'm starting to get some grays a little bit on the sides right here, as well as this side as well. Not much, but a little bit. All right, so I think we're heated up. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start back here. You can tell like my hair is now about half brown and half blonde and the blonde is maybe a little bit longer than the brown part. I'm not feeling comfortable yet to cut it all off. I feel like it's not quite long enough or grown out enough. I'd like it to probably grow another month, maybe two, before I get it fully cut where all the blonde can get cut off. All right, here goes. So I'm gonna just go all the way to the edge. Really just, we're gonna make some really tight little curls all over my head. Ooh, that was a really good one. Another reason why I did use this uplifting foam, I find that my hair curls and the curl stays. If there's some kind of product, kind of like a, a foam product in my hair, it curls the best like that. Every once in a while, I'll even spray some hairspray even before I curl my hair. nice little curls there. So what I was thinking about doing is getting curls in everything and then deciding, depending on how tight I want the final hairstyle to be, whether I should comb through it and then put product on it or whether I should mostly leave the curls intact. I can really see how uneven my hair is growing out when each curl I do because all the hair is just different lengths at the top. So I am so excited to get a fresh cut, but like I said, it's gonna be one or two months when I feel like the brown is long enough. But you know, the brown is taking over. <laughs> it's starting to look like, oh yeah, my natural color is brown here. Deciding what to do here, I think I might leave this for last. So we're gonna keep going along here and we'll start over here on this side.
Yeah, that curl came out real nice. Pixie cuts are so fun because like, it seems like you can do such different styles depending on the different phase of your grow out. I mean, you know, when you get a pixie cut, it's always like probably the shortest that you feel comfortable with. But then until you get your next pixie cut, you get to like enjoy your hair at different lengths along the way, which always makes it, to me, makes it really interesting and fun to try new things. Well, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I like a lot of variety in like trying different styles every week. And I will cycle through my tools. Like I haven't used this thing in two years, maybe less than that, but two years, why not try it again? So that's like, gives me ideas for what could be the next style that I try. Okay, I wanna still keep going. So I don't know how this stuff is gonna curl, but we're gonna try to curl it. Kinda of wondering if I can get anything out of this little piece right here. The one thing about this curling iron, it is extremely hot. So I do not wanna burn myself. Almost got my ear there. All right, I do think I want to try one of these front pieces. Oh, that's cute. So I'm curious how all of you guys are doing. Are you guys curious if anybody's started their garden for the year? I know uh, my mom has started her garden. She's got about 50 little baby tomato plants that she's got going inside her house with a little like plant light in Northwest Arkansas where I am. And this is getting towards late April. By now it's like mostly nice weather, but then every three or four days it seems to get cool again. So it's, it's gardening weather. But my mom, she's got a huge garden and I've showed you pictures of her garden before. Yeah, it was last summer. She's got an asparagus patch, which comes up every year, which is wonderful, which is bizarre because it froze really hard this winter a couple times. The lettuce and the spinach didn't freeze out over the winter time and it came right back up like about a month ago without having to plant it again, which is interesting, but it has been the most delicious lettuce and spinach that I've ever had from her garden. I wonder if it was because it didn't freeze out over the winter and just came back up. I'm not sure why. It was so delicious, but it was crisp and wonderful. She's also got a lot of berries in her garden. She's got like blueberries and blackberries. I don't know what the other kind of berries are, but she's got three or four different kinds of berries. Oh, raspberries. Anyways, I live vicariously through my mom and her gardening. I just, it seems like I just don't have the time to garden right now. If you've been following me, you know that I, I work full time, more than full time most weeks, but I have a really cool job and I work for a company that makes online curriculum. I, I do really enjoy my job and my job has changed over the past several months to be even more fun. So I have been really enjoying it and I haven't been working too hard. I've been really trying to keep a good schedule because I work from home. If any of you out there, I know many of you are retired, but if any of you out there also do work, you know, working remotely, you've got to have kind of this balance between your home life and your work life. I've been doing it for about six years, so I'm kind of used to it at this point. You have to really apply self-control to make sure that you have and maintain that balance so you're not always thinking about work. So that's been a struggle over this past year, but I think I've finally figured it out. So now I'm starting to get to the back here. Probably should start at the top. Let's just take a quick look at the back and see where we're at here. So we've got the sides here. We've got the curls there. And here we are at the back. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Now I'm pretty much to the back part. So what I think I can do is put maybe a couple little curls in the bottom here, but I think that's all I'm gonna be able to do as far as curls because it's just probably not long enough to curl this bottom part. gonna be good enough. Oh, I think it's gonna have 
it to be good enough. So here's the next part. I've got to figure out how much of the curls I want to stay intact. So I'm gonna just start kind of pulling my fingers through all of this. I really like how it looks like the tight, tight curls. I think that's so cute. My daughter has super tight curls like this and my son does as well. They just got it naturally, not from me, but from their dad and his side of the family. It's something that I'm always in awe of. My daughter actually has hair down to here, but it's super curly and thick, very, very thick. I think I am gonna comb this out just a little bit with a very wide tooth comb, very carefully. Not that I don't like it, I do like it, but I think it'll just look a little more everyday-like because I'm not going to any particular fancy occasion. As you can see, the curls are definitely still staying. Oh, this is too cute. So I want to do something with this little sideburn here, but I'm really liking the look of that. All right, I am liking this. So what I'm going to do now, just to put a little bit of product on my hair, and actually I, I think I just want to hairspray it. I don't think I want to put too much in here because I just really like how it's looking right now. I do want to do something with my sideburns here though, so let's see what I can do. One there. All right, it's just too cute. I'm really liking it. And I think it looks cool with this style with the two tones of hair. So I'm gonna use my Aquage Finishing Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the heck out of it because I want it to stay. And you know, if you don't like how you, the front is, pull your bangs down. I'm really liking, it kind of looks vintage with my bangs pulled back and kind of curled over on the side here. And it looks very textured, especially with the different colors. All right, let's show you the final product. Of course, here's the front, the left side, right side. All right, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I do like it. I think it's really pretty. It's classy. It's vintage. It's a nice change. Well, let me know if you like it. Comment down below. Absolutely love reading all your comments. Even if I don't respond, I read every single one and I really appreciate your feedback. And just a note saying hi, I really appreciate you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.